So Alhamdulillah guys, obviously I want to make this video first Thanking everybody for all their du'as, their donations, their love Honestly from my family to yours, it means a lot And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless y'all and reward y'all for all the great efforts you've done And I'm making this video in updating you guys about my mother's situation That uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, you know here her treatment was not going in any angle. I mean, we were just going in one lane and subhanAllah, there was no improvements. And my family decided, my dad, my brother, brothers and whatnot, to, because we did a lot of research about Pakistan and we decided to, even for my mom's condition, it's the best that she goes to Pakistan so she can get her treatment, see her whole family. And inshallah, from the power of Allah, from the permission of Allah, uh, we can have, we may have some improvements. And Alhamdulillah, that, that did happen. My mom's in Pakistan and there's definitely improvements, Alhamdulillah, that have been made. And obviously, if you guys do understand cancer, especially when it returns, it's a very, very long battle, SubhanAllah, that you're fighting with. It's something which is not easy as a family. You know, there's many times that you're pushing, 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 and then SubhanAllah, you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you're imagining like, what am I going to do? But then you keep putting tawakkul. You, put, you keep put relying your trust in Allah. And keep having faith that the concept of mu'jizah, the concept of miracles are, you know, in Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Indeed, Allah is able to do all things. So you always think good about Allah. That always think positive. You know, the Prophet Job, the Prophet Ayyub went through the similar similar even worse scenario and he was of the sabirin of the patient ones he never said he never uttered an illegal wrong statement about Allah he never thought wrong about Allah you know what I'm saying the prophet Jonah Yunus when he made that mistake by leaving the town when Allah did not give permission the prophet Jonah when he was swallowed by the whale in the belly of the whale in the depth at the depth of darknesses he attributed wrong to himself and not to Allah he said la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimin there is no god worthy to be worshipped except you and I was among the wrongdoers the prophet Adam ate from the tree ate from the apple and the prophet Adam when, he, when Allah sent him to earth with their mother Eve, Hawa alayhi salam. The Prophet Adam, may peace be upon him, did not say, Rabbana dhalamna, oh our Lord, you her are, are, have wronged ourselves. Well, you knew. He said, Rabbana dhalamna anfusan. Attributing. So at the end of the day, all good is from Allah. So we always think good about Allah. But guys, I'm telling you this because my mother is very dear to me and I'm trying my best, you know, my situation of me being a student. Uh, I'm trying, my brothers are trying, and you know, we still have this GoFundMe up, and it would highly mean a lot if you guys could support, help us reach our goal. And anything you contribute, whether it's $10, $20, whatever, even to us, or you share it, never underestimate it, but please make to afar. Allah make it easy for all of her mothers. You know, the Prophet said, He who makes Dua, supplication of his brother behind his back that God gave him so and so. Allah, the malaika, the angels make dua for him to amin to you. So making dua behind her backs. So this is just shows, you know. A companion, if you guys know this story, I'll tell you all this story. There was a companion who carried his mother in his back and he took her for hajj around. And he told, he asked the Prophet O oh, Prophet of God, have I repaid this lady? Because I took her on hands on my back. The Prophet more or less of the meaning said, you haven't even repaid one agonies of birth, birth when she gives to you. You know, the agonies of when a mom is, when a woman is giving birth, you know how much it pains. Not even one scream you have paid for. SubhanAllah. So, this is the lady that I'm talking about. I'm trying my best. We're trying our best. But sometimes, you know, it's not a one-man team. And, you know, I'm making this video very emotionally because it's been a while, man. Now I really appreciate the value of my mother. 
is I don't have those I don't have the luxury anymore to text her and get a text back. I don't have that luxury anymore to call her and get a call back. I don't have that luxury anymore to get a random video call from my mom, though I would find it hella annoying, but it was my mom. You know, I don't have that anymore and I wish I can get that. And subhanAllah uh, you know, these things cannot come again because of the degree and seriousness of the situation that which has shown up. And uh as a, as a person, you sometimes wish, you know, you can do more, you can try, what if and shoulda, coulda. But, you know, at the end of the day, we, don't, we cannot think of that. We have to think about now. The Prophet Sallallahu said that, do not say, what I shoulda, coulda, ira. You know, rather say, qadr Allah. You know, so it's all in the decree of Allah, Azza wa Jal. But, yeah, man, it would highly mean a lot if y'all can support, make any dua, remember us, and... Uh, you know, if not, if you have the capability to donate, to share this, it would highly be appreciated. You know, my mom really, really appreciated if you guys didn't watch the interview. All the help y'all did, wallahi al-azim. And today's me in this situation, tomorrow will be you. Life goes by so quickly, man. You know, your parents, your mom, your dad, especially your mother, something you can never ever get. And uh, I, look people, I look at people, man, the way they act to their moms. You know, compared to the act to the wives, you know, wives you can get four, mom is only one. Never comes back, you know, when she's gone. Even with the wife, I'm not put it under mind, but I'm just saying, mother is very, very vital. She's very important, and uh, alhamdulillah, you know, like really, really would appreciate this man. And jazakallah khair for everybody who did donate. Thank you so much. It really, really, I'm highly appreciative to all you guys. And, uh, you know, Jazakallah khair also for 20k subs. May Allah accept the da'wah. May Allah forgive me for my shortcomings. May Allah forgive me for all the wrong I may have said or done. Or if I've ever offended anybody. You know, may Allah forgive me, my mom, my whole family. I mean, and all of our family, the Ummah, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu And make it easy for all of us in our trials and tribulations. Because definitely this world is hard. This life is tough. But you just got to go through it and have to keep being, you know, Allah says in the last verse of Surah Imran, Oh, you who believe, remain patient, persevere, be, remain stationed, and, and be mindful of Allah. So that you may become successful. So I'll end off on that note.